When we think of disease stages, we think of disease that's localized. This is disease that's contained within the prostate gland. Um, when the cancer has broken through the prostate and out of the prostate gland, we consider that to be locally advanced prostate cancer. And this can be advanced just within the prostate bed or into regional lymph nodes. When we think about metastatic disease, stage four disease, that's really prostate cancer that is spread to a, a distant site, either a, a remote lymph node outside of the pelvis or into bone, and the most common sites for metastatic disease. But prostate cancer can go anywhere. We can see it in visceral organs as well. So 5% of the population presents like this with disease that is already spread to a distant site. Metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer simply refers to the disease uh, stage where patients have metastatic disease and have not yet received hormonal therapy, but are presumed to be sensitive to it. For patients diagnosed with metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer today, luckily we have a number of therapies that have extended the, the median or, or average survival to four to five years or more, in some cases, patients with, uh, with better prognosis. Historically, though, um, this is a disease that, if left untreated, could be lethal within one to two years. In the last seven years, we've gone from treating patients historically with just androgen deprivation therapy or testicular suppression to combining with chemotherapy, to combining with novel hormonal agents that block the androgen receptor signaling pathway, to most recently combining all three of these strategies, androgen deprivation therapy with chemotherapy and with an androgen receptor pathway inhibitor. And with each of these incremental steps, we have seen really robust improvement in not just the delay of the disease progressing, but in the overall survival for patients. We now have prostate cancer survivors uh, who have metastatic disease. They may not be cured, but they're going to live for many years. And as we follow our data out further, we may find there's populations living 10 years or more with metastatic prostate cancer but also living with the consequences of these side effects. And so developing approaches, developing novel agents within these classes of, of therapeutic approaches that are better tolerated or have less side effects will be a, a really important advancement as we continue to treat patients for longer and longer periods of time. What becomes increasingly important to patients over time is, is how they're able to live with their disease. Once they realize they're not going to die imminently from their disease, then, then, they, then they suddenly really want to be able to live and get their life back. It's so important to patients uh, on treatment for prostate cancer, even metastatic prostate cancer, to feel normal, a feeling that their life is, is under control, their symptoms are under control, and that what they have for side effects associated with therapy is, is manageable, allows them to do the things that they want to do. That's, that's critical. And I'll give you a quick example of a patient of mine that was able to do that. And he was a patient who was actually in his 80s when he was first diagnosed with metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer, but extensive disease. And we were able to treat him with both hormonal therapy and chemotherapy. And through it all, his number one hobby was riding his bike. And he was able to continue to do that all the way through his treatment and after. And he's five years out, still riding his bike now in his late 80s, but, uh, but still enjoying his life It's critical uh, while these patients are on therapy to maintain adherence with these uh, drug treatments. It's 
it's, it's not uncommon as patients develop really chronic side effects associated with these drugs to, uh, to, to lose faith in the therapies, to, to, to drop the therapies, to reduce dose of, of the therapies. So these are the, the struggles and limitations our patients can experience when, when they're suffering from the, the cumulative um, chronic uh, treatment-related adverse events associated with therapies for metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. really incumbent on us as healthcare professionals and, and really caregivers, part of the caregiving team, to, uh, to help patients manage the, the, the chronic complications and, and experiences associated with these therapies. Um, and, and there's a lot we can do. The first thing we can do is, is to ask, to ask patients, you know, how are they doing? And, and, and to ask them in very granular terms. You know, how are they doing physically? Uh, how are they moving about? How are they doing with their daily activities? How are they doing with work um, or with exercise or with diet? Um, how are they, how is their mood? Uh, how is their mental processing? Uh, and and to, to, as much as possible, ask them for specific examples and then to help them with lifestyle um, and or, you know, rehabilitative approaches 